I could learn one single high ping skill in 2024, I would choose SQL. SQL is easy to learn for beginners without any complicated syntax. It's highly in demand and opens you up to a ton of high ping jobs, for example, in data analytics and data science. But there are so many ways to learn SQL, and some are better than others. If you learn from the wrong platform or from the wrong course, you'll waste a ton of time and money you could have made from your new job. Today I'll cover the top 10 free platforms to learn and practice SQL in 2024. First we have SQL Sue. When you get to this page you'll see a ton of different things and it kind of looks like Wikipedia. I'll be honest the layout is not impressive but that doesn't matter we're just here for the SQL queries and they do that very well. Now over here on the right hand side you can see the different things that they offer. As a beginner you can just follow this step by step tutorial over here. You click on select basics and you'll get to this page where you can get a SQL question. It can really be anything depending on what you select. But this one is of course very basic. Anyway, they have this interactive environment with exercises that have you write queries and run them. It's pretty simple, but free and does the job and they have a ton of different exercises. Next up we have Strata Scratch. This platform is very different and as you can see it's a lot more professional and they have a lot more stuff. Now this is a website that offers interview questions for you to practice. Real SQL interview questions. They've acquired them from uh, companies like Google, Facebook, Airbnb, Amazon, Microsoft, and more during their actual interviews. The thing I really like about this platform is that you're not just learning something for the sake of it. They're actually testing you on the things that companies would test you on, the things that they really care about. So by learning SQL on this platform through real interview questions, you open up all sorts of opportunities in the future. Imagine having studied SQL for months and then failing an interview because you focused on the wrong things. That's pretty harsh. The only thing is that this platform costs money if you want all the features, but wait, you can get over 600 data science questions using SQL, Python, R for for free, so it's definitely enough to spend a few weeks or even a few months practicing SQL. Although it's a great platform, I don't think it replaces the traditional course completely, so keep that in mind. You still want to build a strong foundation. Let's keep going. Next up we have a very popular platform. Users of this website have landed jobs at all sorts of companies like Facebook, Apple, Uber, Cisco and hundreds more. It's been around over a decade and if you come from a programming background you're definitely familiar with this platform. It's called Elite Code and it's basically a one-stop shop with different features, all with the goal of helping you enhance your skills and learn more. And also just prepare for technical interviews, just like the last website. When you create an account on LeetCode, you can then view all of the different problems. You can sort by questions that have been asked in specific interviews, like at Google. But for us, we're just going to click on Database, and here we get lots of different practice questions and problems to solve. Some are going to use other technologies and not just SQL, but you'll find the right ones by just clicking around a little bit. They have a integrated development environment right here on the website you using MySQL, so you can just work directly on the site. The thing I really like about LeetCode is how it's kind of like a community with people sharing knowledge and you can learn from others. They also offer competitions and it's kind of like a game which can help you stay motivated. Next we have We3Schools. This is an incredibly popular website for all sorts of programming languages and stuff. The site is free to use and it's divided up into two main areas. We have the tutorial section where you'll find resources to learn SQL, both standard SQL and MySQL. By the way, if you're wondering why I switch between SQL and SQL, I have no good reason. As a side note, they also have categories on other things, for example data analytics, including NumPy, Pandas, Excel, and so on. The section we're going to focus mostly on is called Exercises. Here you'll find SQL and MySQL over there. Just click on that and get to a page with lots of practical exercises. They start from basic select statements to all about joins and even more about database management and other stuff. I think it's a fantastic resource, especially because of how accessible it is to everyone. They do offer certifications to their learners, but for those you have to pay a little bit of money, and it makes sense, I mean they have to make money somehow, right? I wouldn't really use it for these certificates, but it's up to you. Now I'm going to show you some amazing free platforms, but if you want one complete place to learn SQL in a practical and fun way and get certificates after the end of each course, or a reasonable price and no subscriptions, then I highly recommend the platform Learn SQL. The course SQL from A to C covers everything from basics to advanced level with real world exercises. I'm happy to be a partner of Learn SQL, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to try them out. I've reviewed and recommended many times and I'm not forced to say any of this, I actually like their website. But now let's move on to some more free platforms. Next up we have Coursera. But wait, there's a twist to this one. So I know that many people are 
familiar with Coursera, I've used it a lot myself to explore and learn new things. It's very motivating because they often partner with famous institutions and companies like Google, Microsoft, and so on, but also top universities. So what does this have to do with learning SQL? First of all, Coursera offers nearly all of their courses for free. So if you're just looking to practice SQL, there are a ton of courses that you can enroll in and just enjoy the material without paying anything. Just click on audit the course. In many of these courses, they also have a SQL workspace where you can practice and do queries on their website. Now, many of these courses are going to be better for someone that's looking to both watch videos and read stuff and also type queries. If you're only looking to practice and not do any of the other things, it's probably not the best option. But the reason why I recommend it is because if you take one course, you go through it and you learn a ton and you can actually stick to one course all the way. For example, Introduction to SQL by University of Michigan is a great option for beginners, but they also have more advanced courses. You can also get a certificate at the end if you pay, but they do offer financial aid as well, so check that out if you're interested. The big secret of Coursera are the untapped potential of the guided projects. These projects are usually under two hours and they teach you a ton. I'm going to leave a link in the description to a SQL project I recommend. Let's move on. Hacker Rank is up next. Now, although the name sounds like it's more for cybersecurity, it's actually for all sorts of programming languages and query languages like SQL. They have over 16 million developers using this site, so it's definitely a popular one. When you land on the homepage, you're going to want to click on For Developers. They also offer enterprise solutions, but we're not interested in that. We don't want to pay for anything. Next, head down to Prepare by Topics, and you'll see SQL. You can also find databases here, and data structures, in case you want to do some general preparation. It's a great place to do so. You can also practice Python on this website, by the way. Now, let's click on SQL, and here you can do lots of different challenges. You can sort them by skill level, so basic to intermediate or advanced, and then also on difficulty. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but for example, a challenge could be on the basic level skill, but it could still be a really hard challenge for that level. So it would be a basic skill level, but a hard difficulty. You can also select specific subdomains, like if you want to practice joins or aggregation. They have many different challenges on this site, and you can also see how you're doing compared to other people. Keep in mind that these people that use the site are generally better than the average person learning SQL, because they actually practice all the time and they do hard problems. So don't get discouraged if you can't solve it. Now, they have a SQL interface on the site, so you could just do everything right there. You can also get certificates for SQL, which is basically you prepare and practice and you take a skill test. And if you pass, you get a certificate. The test takes around 30 minutes, so it's pretty quick to do. All right, let's move on to the next platform called SQL Practice. And can you guess what we practice over there? I think it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to talk about the basic stuff, but I just want to show you the advantage of this site. It's just a clean SQL workspace here, and you can run the queries yourself. They also have some learning resources on the left, and on the right-hand side, they have some questions and challenges for you to solve. We're speeding this up a little bit, so platform number eight is Code Academy. I've used this platform myself, and I think it's great. They have a premium version, but in my opinion, you definitely don't need to pay for that, unless you want a specific course or program that you have to pay for. They have quite a few courses that you can take for free, and the thing I like about Code Academy is how easy everything feels. It's like playing a video game. They've been around a decade as well, and they have millions of users. They also have a great community where you can ask questions and get help, even with specific SQL problems, so that's a huge plus. Recently, they also launched something called Chapters, which are basically meetups in person or online to connect with other learners as well. It seems like they're mostly in a few cities and they're in person right now, so it might not be available for everyone, but still pretty exciting. Platform 9 is slightly different, because here you're not just going to be practicing on some website or do simple problems in your browser. Instead, you can use any problem available on the internet in any place with this method. What I'm talking about is simple. Just download a SQL workbench, for example, the MySQL workbench, and then you just have everything in your computer. And you can just download a sample data set and get to work and practice. There are lots of great resources out there, and it's a good idea to get used to working with SQL on your own machine, not just in a perfect world in the environment in your browser. I still think that using websites to learn is a good option. Just make sure to play around with SQL a bit on your machine as well, because you're going to learn a lot of other things that you don't learn on these websites, like how to set up everything and how to do it in the real world. Next up, we have a completely free platform from a non-profit. It's Khan Academy, and they actually have a few SQL courses. Now, these ones, as you can see, look very familiar to other platforms like Coursera and so on, but it's 100% free. They have videos teaching you about concepts, and they have small challenges and projects that you'll do directly on their website. I think it's a really cool option that's relatively untapped. Now, I'm going to be honest, their SQL library is not the biggest, so you'll need another place of SQL study as well. But I mean, you have nine others to fill the gap with, so I think that should do it. I hope this video was helpful. Check out this one next, and YouTube thinks you might like it.
kids and have an amazing week, guys.